Hello friends, welcome to Middle Life Soon YouTube channel. This video is about neutropil identification. So this video include what is neutropil, what are the identification features of neutropil, what is hypersegmented neutropil. Finally, I show you scan blood smear which contain a lot of neutropil. I show you one by one. The important thing is when you are searching neutropils in Google, you can see different images of neutropils. But some of them are not real neutropils. Those are animated, drawing or edited neutropils. I show you real neutropils. I hope you watch my video until the end. I know finally you can easily identify neutropils. So let's see briefly about neutropil identification. What is neutropil? Neutropils are a type of white blood cell. In normal adults, neutropils account for more than half the circulating leukocytes, around 55 to 70 percent. Neutropils' blood level increase naturally in response to infections, injuries, and other types of stress. They may decrease in response to severe or chronic infections, drug treatment, and genetic conditions, the body produces neutropils in the bone marrow. Neutropils engulf and destroy bacteria and other pathogens. They are the most abundant type of white blood cell in most people's blood streams and play a large role in fighting many types of infections. What are the identification features of neutropil? Normal neutropils are uniform in size with an apparent diameter of about 13 micrometer on a film. They have a segmented nucleus and when stained, pink or orange cytoplasm with fine granulation. The majority neutropils have three nuclear segments that mean lobes connected by tapering chromatin strands. The chromatin shows clumping and is usually condensed at the nuclear periphery. A small percentage have four lobes and occasionally five lobes may be seen. What is hypersegmented neutropil? The presence of hypersegmented neutropils is an important diagnostic feature of megaloblastic anemia. Neutropil hypersegmentation can be defined as the presence of neutropils with six or more lobes or the presence of more than three percent of neutropils with at least five lobes. This is your time to identify neutropils. So uh, this is under hundred power magnification. So now you can see uh, neutropils. Uh, this neutropil has uh, three lobes. You can see count one, two, three, three lobes. And uh, you know neutropils are uh, granular leukocytes. And uh, here you can see neutropil has a clear regular margin uh, cell membrane. And uh, neutropil is uh, white blood cell so uh, here you can see a lot of red blood cells and red blood cells are small ones and uh, large one is a uh, neutropil here you can see a hyper segmented neutropil This is under 100 power magnification. Those two cell also neutropils.
here you can see a lot of white blood cells not only neutrophils so count how many neutrophils on this smear on this uh, field yeah I can see three neutrophils so let's see one by one this is neutrophil this is a second neutrophil this is third neutrophil here you can see uh, this is under 40 power magnification here you can see is neutrophil when I zoom Here you uh, here count uh, how many neutrophils appear on this field. Let's see one by one. This is a neutrophil. This is a second neutrophil. This is a third neutrophil. This is fourth neutrophil. is fifth neutrophil so I think now you can uh, you can have ability to identify neutrophils because I show you a lot of neutrophils under 100 power and 40 power magnification here how many uh, neutrophils can you see let's see this is first neutrophil this is second neutrophil This is third neutrophil. This is fourth neutrophil. When I scan my blood smear, so here how many neutrophils can you see? can see two neutrophils let's see how many neutrophils can you see try to identify uh, quickly because uh, when you scan blood smear in your laboratory you have to scan fastly your blood smears your patients smears so if you can correctly scan you scan patients smear it's a very uh, good skills for you
how many uh, neutropics can you see in this field I can see three neutropils can you see let's see one by one this is a first neutropil this is second neutropil is third neutropil so now I think you can easily identify neutropils because I show you a lot of neutropils so uh, if you think if you can identify neutropils easily and uh, what kind of video do you need next and uh, what kind of correction do you have please comment below uh, please uh, comment your uh, ideas uh, and uh, please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you watching my video